Fightshow.tv fans, welcome to our first show, and it's going to be a great show, and we're very excited about doing this. And I'm um, with my co-host here, Costa. How are you doing, Costa? I'm great, Alonzo. How are you? I'm great, and uh, we're looking forward, and uh, we're going to be talking about the fights that have uh, just passed, and we're going to talk about also the upcoming fights, and uh, stay tuned the whole year. We're going to be coming almost every week and giving you some more fights, and I'm, uh, Costa is going to help me out yeah, here. Yeah, everything there is to talk about in the MMA world, we're going to talk about it, we're going to cover it, and let's get started. Coming off of huge, huge pay-per-view, UFC 101, Anderson Silva destroys for his Unbelievable. This guy is uh, phenomenal. I was expecting him to win, but not like this. And it was what? A jab that the uh, He knocked him out with, him with a jab. He's a southpaw with a right jab straight to the chin. And you chin. know why? Because Insane. the thing is that, you know, a lot of people don't know that, but uh, Anderson Silva also boxes in Brazil. Yeah, he, so, you know, he steps into these punches. Boxers have, the, have a different way of punching than uh, MMA guys, you know? He, he knows how to counter punch. And you know what? Also, he, 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 he tried to take a page out of Roy Jones' book from boxing. Yeah. So he had his hands down. Right. He was moving around. Griffin, you have a puncher like Anderson Silva, you don't come in swinging. Griffin was putting his whole weight coming right. forward. He got caught and he was hurt right off the get-go. Yeah, it was, it was it's, a, it's a little bit sad because I think Forrest Griffin was going to give him a little bit of, much more of a tougher uh, I was position. Yeah, Griff, cause but, uh, Forrest Griffin even has beaten Shogun Rua. And he has he's, a good chin. He's been the understand. underdog before. He took some big punches from right. the Rampage Jackson. Rampage and, he still, Jackson. and he still won the fight. He won right. the light heavyweight belt. But this time, you know what? He was just overmatched. And this just goes to show you how impressive Anderson Silva is. That's correct. It, it's not just hype. He is... I don't know what they're going to do with this guy because uh, now uh, at 205, uh, he's uh, now is definitely a, a dominant force. He, and at 205, what are they going to do? He, it's either... They're going to bring up a GSP that, that, or he's going to go down. That's but the problem. Everybody was, do. everybody was talking about a possible George St. Pierre Anderson Silva matchup, but George St. Pierre made it clear he wants to take his time if he is to move up to that right. weight to, and he's right. to build the muscle. And he's smart. That's you know a what I mean? That's a very smart move, and I don't think he should go up right away. Exactly. To and 205. Anderson Silva now at 205. We saw what he did to Griffin, and every, even Dana White's probably thinking, wow, he could cause damage in that category. Right. The only problem is he does not want to fight Machida. They are friends, well, they train friends, together. But, uh, I also believe that uh, Machida would, is the only guy, I think, if, of right course, now, if there that is, can actually beat him. What do you there, think? If, yeah, Machida is, is phenomenal as well. He has his first defense coming up against Shogun Rua in October. I, I mean, think you he's saw gonna, what he did to Rashad I Evans. I think Machida is Rashad gonna Evans was an incredible fighter, and you saw Undefeated, winner of the, of the Ultimate Fighter, and uh, Machida is Machida also... Is, uh, the, the these Brazilians, the, the, that team, they're on another level. But uh, we're going to see what happens. Like he said, he said, Anderson Silva said he wants to keep his belt at 185 he wants to keep defending it right so we're gonna see yeah i heard happens. about that but you know what there's also a big talk about him and uh, vandalay silva because they used to train together and the, there's a lot of blood uh, bad blood between them and you might actually see vandalay silva and anderson silva very very soon and that's going to be a great fight well, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, but Vanderlei has been lost a few fights, like Dana White said. Yeah, but he won Dan his Hender last fight, and he looked good. Dan Henderson is next in line, so if they do refight, which the fans don't really want to see that fight, because Henderson was the first guy to make Silva lose a round right. in the UFC. And he wants it badly, because I remember yeah. we, I asked him the question, and he said obviously he wanted to take care of first of uh, Michael Bisbing. But I think that Anderson, Anderson Silva would, uh, yeah. and Dan Henderson would be a great fight. And I know Dan Henderson really wants that He has that, that knockout power, but I still see Silva. Dominating. We'll see. Speaking of dominant performances, let's move on. BJ Penn versus Kenny Florian. Unbelievable. Uh, BJ Penn once again proved that this despite guy at 155 the 155 is incredible. Despite the beating he took from George St. Pierre at 170, at 155, he is he the man. Good. He is the man to beat. Because right. Kenny Florian's no slouch. Six fight win streak. Yeah. He had beaten Joe Stevenson. He was. He had. I think you're good. right, Costa, uh, on this one. Uh, I think BJ and, should stick you, to 155. And you got to give it to Kenny Florian. He tried. He just wasn't on the same level. BJ Penn was more confident, more relaxed, right. going in there, hurting him with the punch. And then when he got on the floor, that rear naked choke. Listen, it was all over. you know, he beat him standing up. He beat him on the floor. Yeah. He really dominated BJ every Penn single is, aspect of the game. And like he said, the, you know what? The greatest thing that could have happened to BJ Penn? Losing to George St. Pierre. I think it opened his eyes that it was time to start training yeah. seriously. But you know what? I think he still would love to get that rematch with uh, GSP. And it's in the back of his head. BJ Penn has a lot of pride, and I think he wants to come back. A lot of pride, but no point. I'm, GSP would dominate him again. 
Uh, I'm not too sure about this. I mean, uh, we'll see next George time. But, Perez, uh, uh, 170, George St. Perez on another level. No one can touch him right, right now. Right, but I think BJ now, he's been training really, really good. He's more focused. And when this guy is on focus, I don't think there's any weight category that would have uh, would Well, you know him. what? He, he, actually, his next competitor... Diego Sanchez is going to be his next day. He's the number one contender for his belt. And you know what, it's Diego? Going to be a great fight. That's going to be a great fight. Uh, Diego I'm, is a hell of a fighter. Hell of a fighter. The win of the Ultimate uh, Fighter season one. Right. And uh, you know what? It's going to be a good fight. I still believe BJ Penn would uh, win this fight. I mean, uh, at 155, I see very little people being BJ, BJ. Like we said, he's the prodigy. Yeah, Anyways, he's speaking of upcoming fights. Next UFC 102 coming up I'm end really of August. I'm really proud of this one, and I'm pro I'm so anxious. Uh, Go ahead. What's the fight? You know what? I think I'd be more excited about it if I was at a retirement home somewhere. No, you know I what? don't believe this. No, Antonio Nogueira against Randy, Randy Couture. Couture. It's going to be a hell of a fight. These guys are on top of the, the are still on top of the game. I have to give it to Randy Couture. He's the he's the Bernard Hopkins of the MMA. Incredible. He just keeps getting better with age. And you know what? Despite losing his championship belt to Brock Lesnar, who was a monster, he's he still put up a guy. good performance. He he's did. Still, he, he's still, and then I think it was he, just overpowered. Uh, yeah, he went down. He just started taking the beating. But you know what? Nogueira... Jiu-Jitsu specialist, you know, he's, uh, he's before the Frank Mir fight he had never been knocked down in his career. Yeah, knocked and out. I think that that fight was a little bit prematurely uh, stopped. I mean, I've seen Noguera in pride and, and uh, getting beat up and then he just comes, comes back, back but, recuperates but, but, and, and then takes the guy out. But you know what? You don't want the fighter to get hurt either. He was taking a beating no, for the right. whole fight. M M Frank Mir had that I fight. I want to see that rematch and I guarantee you this time Noguera would beat uh, Mir. We'll see what happens if Noguera wins and Mir wants to come up again for another title shot. Right. We'll see. But but you know what? Let's talk about the Randy Couture Costa. Who do you yeah. think is going to win? Randy Couture, Noguera. I'm going to... You know what? I think um, Noguera is going to take it. I'm uh, agreeing with Costa on this one. I, I think uh, Noguera is... I'm even, a, though, even though he's, uh, he, he lost his fight against Frank Mir, uh, Noguera is still an incredible fighter. He's one of the only guys that can actually say that uh, Fedor Emelianco... Uh, never beat him, uh, uh, like truly beat him up. I mean, he lost, yeah, but uh, it was a decision, you, you it know was what? a close fight. I'll, too. I'll tell you the reason why I'm picking Noguera, because Couture is great, but he's getting up there in age. He lost to Brock right. Lesnar his last fight, and I think Couture is a great wrestler, but if Couture takes him down, He's a jiu-jitsu specialist. He might yeah, get caught in something. Very, very dangerous he will on use the floor. his jiu-jitsu exactly. But he's learned a lot of skills, you know, boxing skills. Yeah, he, he's pretty he, good he's, at his stand-up like, now. He's heavy-handed as well. He has a nice. Right. He has a nice. I'm going he, with Noguera on this one. Even though punch. I like Randy Couture. And uh, to finish off, I'm going to feed off of what you said about the Fedor, Fedor oh, Emelianenko. Honestly, guys, I've been kind of depressed lately. We were all excited. It was this close. We all thought it was happening. Fedor in the UFC setting up a possible Fedor versus Brock Lesnar fight. There was and a lot of negotiation going it, back and forth. Back and with this forth, one. and M1 Global wanted the co-promotion. Dana White was not okay with that. They gave and them you know a what? lot. They gave I, them a I lot. I agree with Dana White. They right. built the UFC. Why give these guys co-promotion? They offered them six million a fight, five million, five fight contract. But you it know what? It might have been good for Fedor, but maybe not good for M1 for, Global. And, and, and they that's own probably the rights why. And Fedor the, just wants to fight. You know, like he he just wants to be there. But it would have been great because the truth is, Fedor's considered the best in the world. But he has to fight the best in the world. Right. And all the fighters are in the UFC. Yes, but you know what? It will still be in the back of the head of everybody. Fader not being in the UFC and Dana White not having him cannot st cannot say still that he has the best heavyweight in his exactly. uh, in but his organization. Like I said, Fader Emelianenko. Let's put it straight and down the line. He is the best heavyweight out there. Best pound for pound fighter MMA. I don't care what people say. I don't care what any other people say. He is the best. You know what? I, I'm a big Fedor fan. He is, but I have to see if he has to. If he goes in and dominates Brock Lesnar, like the way we then okay. But he will. Brock Lesnar would not last one minute. The thing is, one round I, with him. Guys, maybe. Fedor is a great fighter, but the level of competition. My pound for pound list. I still have to put Anderson Silva up there because he's dominated everybody. He, Even George St. Pierre because they've do, they've cleaned out divisions. Better would clean out. That's what Anderson I want to see. Silva. That's what I want to see. Well, maybe one day you're going to see it if ever they want to do a co-promoting, uh, co-promotion. Maybe you're hopefully gonna see it. we'll see it one day. And with that, fans, our time is up. Thank you, fans, for watching. That's right. And if you want to send us your comment, you know what to do. Send us your comments on YouTube or info at fightshow.tv. And fans, until next time. Fightshow.tv, coming back for more and more.